Just when we think that we've reached a milestone, the virus keeps moving the goalposts. So now we recognize three quarters of adults with one shot, but we're now looking to clear the next hurdle by beating the next variant. It's hard to forget more than a year ago, at the height of the pandemic, we were chasing that magical benchmark of a 70% vaccination rate in order to achieve herd immunity, which would supposedly beat back the virus. The good news? New York State and New York City officials now say some three quarters of adults have received at least one shot. So the milestone, I think, is still huge, and I think that's the reason why New York is in such better shape compared to other areas of the country, like Texas. Uh, Arkansas, Florida, where their ICUs are filling up. The bad news, according to immunologist Dr. Pervy Parikh of NYU Langone Health, is the arrival of the Delta variant, which means that 70% vaccination benchmark will not bring about the end of COVID anytime soon. The variants are outpacing us. The other problem is New York, where people are coming from all over the country. So even though our rates are great, we have visitors who <laughs> might be unvaccinated. So that there was another wrench in the whole herd immunity. It's not isolated. Neither is the city's reopening plan, which includes homecoming concerts in every borough, with funk legend George Clinton headlining the Queen's event Friday night. We have a real opportunity uh, to overcome and push back. Mayor Bill de Blasio is banking on vaccinations at some point outpacing the variants. But the one potential glitch in that strategy is the arrival of new, more powerful variants. Dr. Gregory Poland, founder of the Mayo Clinic's Vaccine Research Group, says one of those new variants is already becoming a real problem. Caused an outbreak in a nursing home in Belgium and killed seven people that were fully vaccinated. What's concerning about it is that it is now 9% of the cases that have been seen in Miami, Florida. So new studies from the CDC finds that the vaccine's effectiveness may wear off after a certain amount of time. So let's clear up some confusion because I've heard these questions from a lot of people, including relatives in my own family, about exactly what is a booster shot? Is it something different or is it a repeat of what you've already had? I asked Dr. Purvey this exact question. The booster shot that the CDC is recommending is just another shot that you've already received if you've gotten the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccine. 